Okay, today we're going to look at how to draw a mouth, how to um, continue the, the separation line between the upper and lower lip, how, the, how the, the fact that the upper lip tends to be darker, the bottom lip lighter and almost no lines in the bottom edge, and how the, this area that's right above the upper lip, right in the center, the philtrum, how it, um, it can be shaped, and then um, general shading and contouring. So let's begin. First, let's look at the general shape of a mouth. The dividing line between the upper and lower lip often will decide or define the, the mouth. Sometimes that dividing line can be straight. Sometimes it can be downward sloping. And I'm exaggerating just a little bit. And sometimes it's just, oh, merely going up, little dip, and down. This from a, a larger upper lip. And that upper lip, as it's defined um, by the the philtrum, or that, that little channel that's right above or right below the nose, where the upper lip can go up, down, up, and down again. Some people have, well, rolling hills, if you think of mountains. Um, here, some people have, um, oh, um, more like the... Rocky Mountains, okay? And some people may have upper lips that are just simply simply smooth. So we're going to use we're going to use these styles or keeping uh, keeping track of this when you go to draw someone's portrait or you go to draw a picture of someone, keep track of of how far apart, how high, how pointed, what the changes for that upper lip. Okay? So let's begin. Our project today is going to have um, a slightly downturn, mostly straight, but a slightly, slightly downturn. Uh, and we're going to draw it large. And the reason we're drawing it large is so we can experience all the aspects of, of drawing a mouth. So I'll put my baseline first. That's typically there. Bring it down on both sides just, just a little. And this will be much darker in, as time goes on. Let's define the lips. And we're going to have the lips will start in the center here now when you think of drawing lips think of um, en envision circles here because really this is rounded tissue and maybe one here and one here it's got to all fit okay and for the lower lip well the same idea try to get those to fit as well they're usually right here and right here now, the bottom lip, that's different. Because the light is shining from the top down, the upper lip tends to be, well, more shadowed, more textured, and so on. But the bottom lip um, has very little uh, shadow or shade to it because there's light shining right on it. In fact, sometimes there's no defining line. So the bottom lip can be drawn as simply a, a line out here that just suggests the outer edge. So we're going to do that. Maybe add a little bit, a little bit more to give some more shadow here, and that's in preparation. In drawing the lips, let's go back to the upper lip. In drawing the upper lip, we'll make this dividing line a little darker because it does go back into the mouth, and we're going to pull lines from it out generally, and from the from the bottom up and from the top down. And more so as we get toward the corner of the mouth. Because this is the darkest part, I'm pulling his lines up, and it's a temptation to make these lines curved, and you can do that just a little, but uh, typically you need to be careful because they, they tend to be straight on. It depends on on the side of well, the side of these bumps. If you get too carried away with that, it will show. Okay. Now up here, 
let's uh, in drawing this um this part we're going to suggest that the light is coming from the subject's right or our left so i'm just going to hint at kind of a shadow shadowed area on this side going up and uh, this is going to be the high spot so this will be the the downside and we'll go down darker toward the corner of the mouth we're just sketching in some some graphite here um, at first to kind of get started I'm going to leave an edge, just an edge, this is where the skin rolls over Okay. so now the lower lip we've got this underside here we can maybe shade a little bit more as we head toward the outside I'm going to define the uh, skin below the lip a little bit here okay and then maybe a little bit coming out you can bring just some of these coming out generally a little bit there but not a lot not a lot coming out There, I think we've rounded those fairly well. And we'll do some blending here, which will help. Shade just a little bit up in here, a little graphite there. So, now the blending stick. Um, before I use it, though, I need to prepare it a little bit. So the end here is just a little polished. I can almost see a shiny spot. Some artists will use uh, sandpaper. I'll move my paper away so I don't corrupt it. And just kind of, well, clean it up and fluff it up a little bit on the end. I'm kind of pushing and rolling. I don't want it to be a sharp point. In this case, I'll kind of blunt the end and just turn it. That should turn out to be fine. Okay. Set that sandpaper away. Artists will sometimes um, actually get sandpaper and, and glue it to a block of wood. So let's start uh, blending what we have. I want to make sure I have a defined line up here. I'll make this line kind of disappear. Again, unless you have a subject that has eyeliner, you don't want to necessarily have a line up there. And then but most of these lines will be pulled, pulled down. Pull down into the lips. So we'll do that. And I think I'll have to add some more carbon or some more um, pencil there. So I'm kind of pushing up from the bottom. Now for this lower lip, we want to keep it lighter. So I'm actually going to turn my blending stick over so it's not quite so dark. And I'm just pulling right from this dividing line out. We're going to go back and touch up that dividing line to make it darker. But for now, and we want this to be irregular, kind of suggesting the fact that this is curved and shadowed and shaped. Let's speed things up just a little.
Okay. I think we're going to stop there.